Hello. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of how you can use the new handoff receiver functionality in RFI Site version 1.48. There are a number of use cases for this feature, but we are going to look at the basic functionality of a co-located handoff receiver. This use case consists of a secondary receiver co-located with the primary receiver. The primary receiver gives a cue or a handoff on a specific trigger to the secondary or handoff receiver. In this example, we show a simulation of an airfield that has an RFI node deployed that is set to monitor the spectrum. This could be for transmitters that interfere with air traffic control signal or get too close to the perimeter. If we just run the simulation, you see here, we are sweeping all the way from 9 kHz up to 8 GHz, and here we have a simple mask that goes up to about 6 GHz. At the moment, there are no signals being picked up. However, if I bring this 5.8 GHz transmitter closer to the airfield, you'll see the signal start to appear, and as the signal gets stronger, it will break the mask. We could zoom in to look more closely at this signal, or capture some IQ data. However, it means that the node is then interrupted from its basic function of doing a wideband scan and the probability of intercept on the wideband scan is degraded. So how can we solve this problem? What we can do is co-locate a second receiver with the first one. I'm going to move this receiver, colored green, to be co-located with the first receiver. This second receiver is sometimes referred to as a drop receiver, but it's more correctly labeled as a handoff receiver. We are going to set up a triggered task and ask for IQ time capture, which we do in the site control window. First, we need to set the event trigger, and we're going to choose the event trigger to be the sweep receiver, the primary pink node. We then set the receiver we want to perform the mission, the secondary green node. So whenever we get a mask break on the sweep receiver, it will trigger the IQ time mission on the secondary node. Let's run that simulation again. At the moment, there are no mask breaks and no triggers, so let's once again move this 5.8 GHz transmitter closer to the airfield. As the signal gets stronger, it will break the mask and trigger the IQ time capture. This capture is only performed on the handoff receiver, and the sweep receiver can continue its scan uninterrupted. So, if a secondary transmitter came closer to the airfield in a different part of the spectrum, the primary receiver will still detect it and trigger the IQ time capture again on the handoff receiver. This quick demonstration shows you some of the power and flexibility of the handoff receiver functionality. For more information, please contact us via www.crfs.com.